In this part, we are going to learn about reference data collections. So reference data collections are used to store and manage business data that you want to correlate against events and flows in your QDR environment. So we can add business data or data from our external sources into our reference data collections and then use that data in our QDR searches, filters, rule test conditions, rule responses. So the reference data collections that are stored in our QDR console but they are also regularly copied to our managed host for best performance on the data lookups. The managed host caches the most frequently used reference data values. So we can use reference data collections to integrate the IOCs from third party vendors into QDR, or we can use the business data or the log sources that are coming into our organizations to populate data into your reference data collections. So IBM QDR has different type of reference data collections that can handle different levels of data complexities. The most common types are reference sets and reference maps that we are going to see uh, in depth in a few minutes. So the reference data set or a reference set is a collection of unique values. So suppose you use reference set to compare a property against a list of values so suppose we have multiple source ips so your source ip becomes our property and the various values that it can take so n number of source ips those becomes your elements in your reference sets so a value or a property against a list of values to be compared in that case the reference set would be an ideal data collections. Similarly, in a reference map, it's a collection of data that maps a unique key to a unique value. Suppose you want to correlate the user activity on your network. So we create a reference map that uses login ID as the parameter and the username as the value. So having one login ID as a key and a username as its value. So this is the unique combination of login ID and username. Then we have something called as reference map of sets. This is a collection that maps a key to multiple values. Remember earlier it was a map of unique key to a value. Here we have a key which is mapping to multiple values. Every key is unique and it maps to one of the reference sets. So suppose you have a patent database. So in that, the patent ID is a unique value, but the usernames or the contributors to a patent could be multiple. In that case, reference map of sets is a useful reference data collections. So all the usernames will be mapped to a single patent ID. So patent ID will be the key over here and multiple values that is multiple usernames or contributors or the innovators are the values set to this property next we have something called as reference map of maps wherein it maps one key to another key which is then mapped to a single value understand very correctly there are slightest of minutes of details uh, that changes from the upper reference data collections so in map of map, we have one key, which is mapping to another key, which is then mapping to a single value. Suppose you want to check the network bandwidth violations in your environment. So in that case, uh, source IP, a single physical TP of a uh, internal consumer or internal person is one key. And that single desktop would have multiple applications, right? So those multiple applications application one application two application three becomes your second key so on that tp that is your source ip which is your first key second will be your application id so which your application is contributing highest towards the bandwidth utilization and the third is the value that is the total bytes consumed by that application so imagine or visualize this in this form source ip having multiple applications and multiple application application one using these many number of bytes application two using these many number of bytes so that is how reference map of maps comes into picture last but not the list is our reference table so a reference collection of the data that maps one key to another key which is then mapped to a single value the second key is an assigned a data type so remember 
here the only difference is the second key is nothing but a data type. So create in a reference table that stores username as first key, source IP as a second key, and this source IP will have an assigned data type of CIGR and source port as the value. So imagine a reference data collection where you have username as first key, source IP as second key, and this source IP will have a data type of CIDR format. And then the rest part, that is the value part, it will have something called source port as the value. So in that case, we would be using reference tables. Now, how do we create or use this reference data collections? We can create, view, edit, or delete reference data collections using three methods. One is using the UI via GUI and the reference data management app. Second is by using the QRadar APIs. And third, it is by using CLIs. So let us look into each of this method one by one. Currently, I am on the reference data management app. Here on the left side, you can see reference set reference map, reference map of sets, or the data collection that we just discussed previously. So through UI, we can just click on create new, wherein we can give test test name, the element type, like if it will be alphanumeric, if it is numeric, if it is IP, if it is port, suppose I select alphanumeric type. Then the timeout values. So do we want to timeout our elements from the time when they were first seen or when they were last seen and the timeout values and it can be in days months hours minutes seconds suppose i set it to five days so this will create a reference set named test underscore test any details of what these elements or columns are are available when you hover over the information bar or information icon next to the name of those columns so I'll just create this reference set. So upon creating, we can see the details of a reference set named test underscore test. Currently there are zero elements. We can add entry using an add entry button. This will add a single entry. If you have multiple entries, you can click on bulk add. We can also import it and select this if it is CSV format and the separator that we need to give if it's a comma separated value we have comma over here. We can also export the elements of reference sets to a file, which will be then CSV exported file. Let us now try to add an entry. So our value, suppose I say name. So now since this is a reference set, it is just going to have a single value. So it is just a list of values to be compared. So 192.168.0.1. Source is an optional entry and I'll just click on save. And if you see the value is added, which is nothing but an IP address. The first scene of this value, the last scene and the source, which is admin, that is it is a GUI based. If we add elements via CLI, it would mention command line over here. So we can refresh the reference sets. We can delete the reference set. We can clear the data in reference sets using the GUI buttons that are available. So this is one way of creating, deleting, editing the reference data elements. Secondly, you can navigate to the APIs, interactive APIs for our QRADAR system, and then navigate to the reference data collections section of the APIs. Here click on the reference data and then we have map of sets, maps of the various data collections that we can add, post, delete using the APIs. Similarly, we can use the command line interface to add values to our reference data collections. The command opt curator bin reference data util.sh helps us to achieve this. So once I enter this command, there are the options that are taken by these commands followed by the syntax. So it works in create name, that is the name of the reference data collection. Then the collection type, the type can be anything like maps, reference set, 
or anything and then the element type is it an alphanumeric is it a numeric then the timeout type value such as first scene last scene and then at the end there are examples given as for this command to create so let us now create an alphanumeric reference map so the command is reference data util.sh then the create then the name which is just ALN then the type of collection that is our map and then the data type that is alpha numeric I'll just mention the complete path for this command and enter this should create a reference map remember map was a key value pair so it should reflect on the ui so it is now executing and taking the various arguments first is to create second is the name third is the type of the reference data collection and fourth is the type of the value so it says successfully created data collection and the creation time and other details are seen so let us now see if it is seen on our UI and we had created a reference map. So let us navigate or refresh this page in reference map. And as you can see over here, we have a test ALN, which is now available, which was just created. So let us try to add some entry to this reference map that we just created. So this is the example of the command that we will be using to create here I have used the command add as an argument to add an entry then the name of the map which is test alien which was just created and then the value and the key as you can see it has successfully added data to our collection with name test alien let's see over UI I'll just click on the refresh button that is available and yes the key has been named as key one and the value is value one and if you can see the source here is command line so we can clear this data using clear data or delete this using a delete map so this is how we create add or delete data in our reference data collections using gui cli or the apis that are available to us that's all for this video thank you